Want your Steam profile to look like this? Today I'm going to show you exactly how to create a custom achievement showcase that makes your profile stand out from the rest. The first thing we want to make sure is that your Steam profile is at least level 10 so you can unlock profile customization. If not, check out my video on leveling up fast. The link's going to be in the description and in the card above. If you are level 10, open up Steam and hover over Store, click Point Shop, and find Showcases on the left. Then make sure you have the Achievement Showcase purchased. You can upgrade the showcase up to three times to unlock three rows of achievements, or you can buy an additional achievement showcase down here. Once you have your showcase purchased, the next thing we want to do is find a game with achievements that you want to use in your achievement showcase. This can be a game you already own. If you go to your profile, click Games, then Achievement Completion, click My Game Stats, and then My Achievements. Here you can see a list of all your achievements. If you don't want to use achievements you already own, you can look through one of the guides I've linked in the description to purchase a game with unique achievements. Some of these guides have awesome letter styles so you can spell something out like your Steam name, and other guides have achievement designs that you can arrange into cool patterns. Take some time and find something that fits the profile theme you're looking for. Once you find the achievement style that you like, you'll want to click Buy on Steam to be taken to Steam, click Add to Cart, and follow the checkout steps to purchase the game through Steam. When you finish checking out, you should see your game in your Steam library. Now we need to unlock the achievements for your game. To do this, we're going to download an app called the Steam Achievement Manager, aka the Sand Picker. Click the card above or the link in the description to be brought to the GitHub download page for the Sand Picker. Once you're here on the download page, find the newest version of the application, which for me is the 7.0.37, and click Steam Achievement Manager.zip. While that's downloading, let's jump to our desktop and right click anywhere on the screen. Click New, then click Folder, and let's name this the SAM app. The application should be done downloading now, so let's open up our File Explorer and click Downloads. You should see the zip file right here. Right click on the file and choose Extract All, click Browse, and choose your desktop. Double click on SAM app and select Folder, then Extract. Now let's go into the SAM app folder and open the SAM.picker application. Scroll down and find the achievement game you just purchased. If you don't see your game in the list, Click Refresh Games here at the top. If you still don't see your game, enter your game's ID here in the search and then click Add Game. Once you find your game, double click on it. You'll see all the game achievements listed here. You can click this white box next to any achievement to unlock it, then hit Commit Changes. To unlock all the game's achievements at once, click the Open Lock here, then Commit Changes. Depending on how many achievements the game has, this could take a few minutes. Open up Steam, hover over your username and click Profile. Click Edit Profile, Featured Showcase, then click the drop down in the location you want your Achievement Showcase to be. Select the Achievement Showcase, click the blue pencil for the first square, select your purchase game from the drop down, then choose the achievement you want in the first position. Do this for each square that you want to use in your Achievement Showcase. There is one very important thing to note. Once you select the blue pencil and place an achievement, there's no way to remove the achievement in that square. You can replace the achievement in that spot with other achievements, but that square will always have to be used. For example, if I only placed an achievement in this first square and didn't use any of the other squares, only this one square will show up on my profile. But as soon as you place an achievement in a location, that square will be seen and has to be used. I used all the squares in mine so this didn't affect me, but try it out yourself with only one square at a time and see what you think. Once you have your showcase looking the way you want it, scroll down to save, then go back to your profile and check it out. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Thanks for watching.